there we go. This is the uh, six panels on top of the shed, which gives me uh, one kilowatt of power. This is from uh, a lot of 17 panels that I'd bought. And then there's a pair of jeans and a dog. And up here, we have another nine panels. I don't know that we can see that very good, but we'll go up the ladder because that's what we do. Yes, we have uh, another nine panels there. There's six panels on the hot water system and three panels for a 12 volt system that I'm running a 300 watt inverter off and that should work pretty good except I need batteries and we've got no batteries. Inside the um, the shed we have two sets of three panels they're all in parallel so what we get is uh, a maximum of uh, about 36 to 39 volts uh, but a lot of amps we're getting uh, more than 48 amps from the system that's by this gauge down here I don't know whether you can see that but uh, maximum amps on that is uh, 52 really on that one yeah that's pretty good that's um running down on these step down converters buck converters um, it's running down to uh, the 12 volt uh, 1000 watt inverter I've got a, a, cap a capacitor pack there that's to give it a little extra power uh, when it starts the fridge motor and that's taken about I don't know 500 watts or more now here we have a, an old battery that's just actually just being used as a capacitor because it really doesn't store any charge and then uh, <laughs> the John Deere lawnmower battery yes. also from the six solar panels there the first six that you can see up here is uh, this cable coming down and it goes into in the house and it's I've got it double insulated because it's got a fair bit of power and then uh, we come there's a nice washing machine and then we come down inside from the outside it's still got the shielding on it and it goes to this 16 amp breaker switch which then allows it to be switched on and off and basically it's just a direct line through to the hot water system now at the moment uh, I don't know what sort of power we're going to be getting out of it we'll just do a quick check and uh, gee whiz it's hard to hook this up is it is that going to stay up there no it's not going to stay up there so let's put it down here somewhere and we're going to get that's on 200 volts there at the moment and we're going to get We're getting 37 volts out of it. It's not very good. It's a bit cloudy outside, but it'll still be warming up um, the hot water. Basically, what it does is just uh, run DC straight into the hot water system, and uh, it heats it up. It was boiling water the other day. Now over here, we've got a really fancy setup. I've got two volt can. Uh, indicators on it one for what's on going into the uh, 1000 watt inverter at the moment it's on 14.1 volts and it's running it's not a 1000 watt inverter it's a 300 watt it's running this really sexy fan here and then what's coming off the panels is 39.9 volts so you could really say 40 volts and that just comes in straight from the roof which is three panels in parallel and they're given 39 volts for the three panels I did test this and on the output of the buck converter here it was showing 25 amps and I thought I was going to blow up my um, 
super duper multimeter but it didn't explode so I suppose that's a bonus okay that's all for now